In your algebra class, you're going to deal with square roots a lot. But there's other types of roots that aren't just square roots. There's cubed roots, and there's fourth roots and fifth roots, stuff like that. So I'm just going to show you guys a little bit about, about what a cubed root is. First thing is notation. Notation is how we write it. This is how you would write the cubed root of x. And what it means is a number whose cube is x. If that doesn't make sense to you, listen carefully to this. This means what number times itself three times is equal to x. Be careful, it doesn't mean what number times three gives you x. It's what number times itself three times gives you x. Like here's an example. The cubed root of eight. That means what number times itself three times gives me the answer eight. It's not what number times three is eight. Well, the number that times itself three times is eight is two because two to the third power is eight. Think about it. Two times two is four, times two again is eight. That's how I write it. The same process goes with fourth roots. You probably won't see this in your algebra class, but I bet it's gonna show up sometime thereafter. The fourth root of 81. That means what number times itself four times gives you 81, and the answer is three, because three times three is nine, times three again is 27, times three again is 81. So when you see these little bitty tiny numbers outside a square root sign, what that's telling you is it's not a square root anymore. It's turned into a cubed root or a fourth root. It's going to show up sometime in your algebra class, not very often. Just be aware of it when you see it. This is what it means.